Welcome back. My name is Patrick. An early morning free agent frenzy update for you guys. If you didn't hear already last night, just after midnight, Evander Kane announcing he is coming back on a four-year, $20.5 million deal, $5.125 million AAV. Absolutely amazing news. I did a full breakdown on the signing last night. You can check out a link to it at the end of this video. So this morning, I thought I would just go over quickly the latest that we're hearing on the Oilers heading into free agent frenzy. Kicks off at 10 a.m. Mountain this morning, so just over an hour from now. So got to get back to the TV, catch all the coverage. Like I said before, this is like Christmas Day to me. Love watching free agent frenzy. Love watching trade deadline day. Two of the greatest days of the year for me. So let's get started with this update from Ryan Rashog on the Evander Kane situation. Ryan Rashog reports, Still no date set for Kane arbitration hearing with San Jose. Three possibilities exist. Number one, settlement, meaning both sides move on. The Oilers' new contract remains intact. Number two, Kane wins. The Oilers' deal is dissolved. And Kane becomes San Jose Sharks' property once again. His old contract, which had three years, seven million per season left on it, goes back into effect. And situation number three, Kane loses. The Oilers' contract remains in place. Both sides move on. Not sure if this Oilers deal makes a settlement more likely or not, but there's still plenty to be determined. So obviously from the Oilers' side of things, possibilities one and three are the most ideal. But I think even if number two comes into effect, and Evander Kane once again becomes property of the San Jose Sharks, I think they'll be able to work out a trade, sending Evander Kane back to Edmonton. We know the San Jose Sharks don't want him, so they're going to move him somewhere. It would make the most sense to go to the team that you know wants him. I'm sure they can work something out that way. It's been rumored that possibly Jesse Pugliarvi would move in that kind of type of deal if he doesn't move beforehand today. So we'll see what happens there. I think at the end of the day, a settlement with the San Jose Sharks is the most likely outcome of this. So Evander Kane will just end up getting more money from the San Jose Sharks. And he's going to end up getting closer to the money he actually wanted anyway. It was reported he wanted something in the 7 to $8 million per season range. So if he's getting $5.125 million from the Oilers, he gets another $2, $3 million from San Jose as a settlement per year. Evander Kane's happy. The Oilers are happy. And hopefully this situation can just be behind everyone. Evander Kane is an Edmonton Oiler, so hopefully it can stay that way and there's no roadblocks in the days ahead. Insider Kevin Weeks reporting what has basically been known information for a while now. It looks like goaltender Jack Campbell will be signing a five-year, $25 million deal with the Edmonton Oilers. $5 million AAV. Makes the most sense. I'm sure we'll get that information shortly after 10 a.m. this morning. Sounds like it's been pretty close to a done deal for a while now. Darren Drager had this update. Oilers signing Evander Kane and clearly targeting Jack Campbell amplifies Edmonton's push to win. They're not done. Connor Brown, Mason Marchment, one of the Strom brothers. The Oilers would like to add and potentially move Pooley RV and Fogel in the process. So the Oilers currently have just under $10 million in cap space according to Cap Friendly. That's not counting the money they're going to get from Mike Smith and Oscar Clefbaum going on long-term injured reserve. So we'll call it around $15 million the Oilers have to spend. Obviously, the Oilers will have to go right to the $82.5 million salary cap to take advantage of the long-term injured reserve with Clefbaum and Smith. So the Oilers are definitely going to spend all the available space they have. Ryan McLeod, Jesse Pugliarvi, Kyler Yamamoto, the key RFAs left for the Oilers. They don't have any other unrestricted free agents they plan on signing. Defenseman Chris Russell is a UFA, but he is expected to go to the market, and he's hoping to sign with a contender today, but does not sound like it will be the Edmonton Oilers. And Oilers insider Bob Stoffer with this update. With Evander Kane signing a four-year deal last night, in my opinion, here are the Edmonton Oilers' targeted needs today. A number one goaltender, we expect that to be Jack Campbell. A second pairing left shot D. Is Brett Kulak coming back? Is he going to sign elsewhere? It looks like it's leaning towards Kulak leaving at this point, but we all thought Evander Kane was leaving and he circled back, so hopefully that'll be the same case with Brett Kulak. A fourth line center, right shot. Not sure who they're targeting there. 
a fourth line tough left winger, a veteran, 7th D. There's a big wide list of veteran defensemen available, so hopefully the Oilers can find someone decent. Obviously, getting a second pairing left shot D should be a priority for the Oilers. Would love to see them add to the top nine again. Obviously, a top nine addition for the Oilers at this point would probably be a Mason Marchment or a Connor Brown. Could be a surprise addition here. There was talk of David Perron and Claude Giroux possibly coming to the Oilers. I think we can scratch both of those names. Claude Giroux is likely to stay in the East, probably going to the Ottawa Senators. With the Oilers getting Evander Kane back, don't see them going for David Perron. Most likely targets, Mason Marchment, Connor Brown, hopefully a Dylan Strom. I think Dylan Strom would be a great fit with the Oilers, so we'll see what happens there. But that's kind of my primer for now, guys. Let me know what you think is going to happen in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy Free Agent Frenzy, and I will see you later today with some signing updates. Take care, guys. See you soon.